Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet a curly wreath ornament for your Christmas tree. To do this, I'm using less than 10 yards of red and green yarn and a size G crochet hook. We are going to make two curly cues and connect them together for this wreath ornament. To begin one of the curly cues, make a slip knot and chain 45. If you find you want this wreath a different diameter, feel free to add or subtract any number of chains. Skip the first three chains and in that fourth chain from the hook, Make three double crochet stitches. We're going to count those skipped three chains as one double crochet. So once you are completed making the three double crochet stitches, you'll have a total of four double crochet stitches for our first cluster of the curly cue. Moving forward for the next chain, we'll make four double crochet stitches all in that same chain. By putting so many more stitches into each chain, it will cause our work to ruffle or curl which is what we want in this particular pattern. As you can see, in the next chain, I'm also making four double crochet stitches all in the same chain. We'll continue making these four double crochet stitches in each chain across for this green curly Q decoration. It's important to note we definitely want our work to curl on us so if your work is starting to look like this and curl inwards on you, that is exactly what we want at this point. Once you have placed your four double crochet stitches in the last chain, you'll want to fasten off the yarn, leaving about a five inch tail end. It's important to note which end is the one we completed on, so the longer tail end should help with that. And you'll make a second curly cue. It's up to you if you want red and green or add some white yarn instead. To begin the twisting process, place the two tail ends together and try to match up things the best as possible. You'll slowly start to curl the two ends together. Now granted, you might have to fiddle with the curly cues a bit to straighten them out and to get them to line up correctly and neatly. And while you are watching me twist and coil these two crochet curly cues together, I probably should point out that if you want a smaller wreath, you can use a thinner yarn or even embroidery floss with a smaller crochet hook. I've also used super bulky weight yarn with a much larger hook and the wreath comes out larger and looks nice as a more substantial decoration. Once you have completed joining the two pieces together, check them out and adjust the colors and coils as necessary so that when they are joined together they look consistent. Now it's up to you how you want to join the two pieces together. You can hot glue the two ends together if you wish, or I have a tendency to take the starting and tail ends of both curly pieces and tie and knot them together. You can also, if you wish, take a separate strand of yarn with a yarn needle and sew the two ends together securely. Once completed, you can sew or hot glue a bow onto the wreath. And that's how I make a crochet curly wreath ornament.